Assalamu alaikum this is Maryam with a news report Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban vetoed a massive European Union aid package for Ukraine on Friday The bill promised dollar 54.5 billion over 4 years to combat Russian advances particularly as Ukraine prepares for another harsh winter offensive Orban threatened to continue blocking the aid deal so long as the EU withhold billions of euros earmarked for Hungary which have been frozen due to concerns about democratic backsliding in Budapest. On Wednesday the bloc restored Budapest's access to nearly dollar 11 billion after ruling that Hungary had made substantial efforts to reform its judiciary. A controversial decision that some experts say is the EU folding to blackmail. Yet that was not enough for Orbán to cave on greater Ukraine aid. It is a great opportunity for Hungary to make it clear that it must get what it is entitled to, not half of it or one fourth. He said, nearly dollar 23 billion of the EU funds intended for Hungary remain frozen. Russian President Vladimir Putin celebrated the Orbán's decision. The two autocrats have long been close allies. But the EU is not ready to give up on aiding Ukraine. I can assure you Ukraine will not be left without support. There are different ways to do this. Estonian Prime Minister Kaja Kallas said, suggesting that an EU extraordinary summit in January could spark new solutions. Those could include the European Commission coordinating the collection of grants or EU nations supplying Kyiv with loans. The unsuccessful vote comes as Ukrainian president Zelensky is also struggling to secure additional aid from the United States. US Republicans in Congress have repeatedly blocked the White House effort to pass an emergency spending package that would provide Ukraine with more than dollar 60 billion in aid. demanding that new immigration and security measures for the US southern border also be included in the aid package sending money to ukraine is more politically sensitive for republicans now with the momentum the anti ukraine faction has and coming to washington to ask for more money when they are focused primarily on southern border negotiations this puts a magnifying glass on that But Ukraine's diplomacy efforts were not without some successes. On Thursday, Orbán walked out of an EU leader's vote to allow the 26 other member nations to approve beginning talks on Ukraine's accession into the EU. History is made by those who don't get tired of fighting for the freedom. Zelensky wrote on X, formerly Twitter, to celebrate the symbolic win. Still, membership remains many years away, and Orbán has threatened to change his mind and block Kyiv's accession efforts going forward if the EU does not fall to his demands. US National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan met with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas in the West Bank on Friday to discuss the future governance of the Gaza Strip. We do not believe that it makes sense for Israel or is right for Israel to reoccupy Gaza over the long term. Sullivan said, ultimately the control of Gaza, the administration of Gaza and the security of Gaza has to transition to the Palestinian. Both Sullivan and Abbas express interest in the Palestinian Authority, which oversees the West Bank in a security partnership with Israel, taking over Gaza once the war is over. Hamas removed the PA from power in Gaza in 2007 but Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu continues to advocate for Israeli control with US President Joe Biden accusing Netanyahu of not seriously working toward creating an independent Palestinian state and calling on Israel to scale down its ground offensive in Gaza Criticism of Israel's operations escalated on Friday when the Israeli military said it mistakenly killed three Israeli hostages having believed them to be Hamas militants fighting in Gaza City. It is unclear if the hostages escaped or were abandoned by their captors. 
the Israeli military claimed full responsibility and said it would conduct an investigation into the incident. Israel estimates that Hamas continues to hold around 137 people in captivity. Meanwhile, the officials in Denmark, Germany and the Netherlands arrested seven people, including four suspected Hamas members, on Thursday for allegedly planning terrorist attacks against Jewish institutions in Europe. The militant group has denied any connection to the individuals. Reports of anti-Semitic hate crimes in Europe have skyrocketed since the Israel-Hamas war began on October 7, with Berlin reporting a 240% increase during the first month of the war. The U.S. House of Representatives passed $886 billion defense package on Thursday that will help upgrade the U.S. nuclear arsenal, fund weapons development, and provide the greater transparency of government records on UFO sightings. The mayor instructs the National Archives to collect the government documents on unidentified anomalous phenomena, technologies of unknown origin and non-human intelligence, and disclose them to the public within 25 years of their creation unless otherwise classified by the president. Maybe we will finally learn which of the hundreds of alien movies out there is most accurate. I am placing money on corn hats. These were today's stories. Stay connected for more. Take care.